Okay guys and gals, today I'm going to show you how you can easily save $50 a year on ShopVac filters. Now if you're anything like me, you're always doing something around the house and you're always using your ShopVac and that filter gets dirty quickly. And uh, if we're up to ShopVac, they'd have you replacing that filter every 30 days. Well, you know, that's not cheap. You know, if you're like me, you want to save money. And those filters, the cheapest you're going to find is maybe a, a two-pack for uh, $22 to $25. You know, and that translates, uh, you know, into close to $50 a year. And I'm going to show you how you can extend the life of these filters and save yourself a bucket of money. And uh, let's get right to it, and I'll show you how I do it. Now, the filter I have right here, well, you're not going to believe it, but I've had it probably for seven to eight years. And you say, well, geez, Jim, you know, you, you ought to toss that. The outside looks dirty. Well, the real key is how dirty does it look on the inside? And it looks pretty white to me. And when I put this on after I'm done with it, it's got great suction. So don't listen to them uh, about replacing it every 30 days. But there's a trick to make them uh, last a little bit longer, and I'll show you what it is. What you have to do is you have to get yourself uh, a good cotton t-shirt or a cotton shirt, and you have to cut enough material where it will cover the entire filter. And what you do is you put the filter uh, cover on there and make sure that it's going all the way down and you've got a little bit of excess. And uh, these rubber bands are pretty cool. Uh, I'll give you a link to these things, but they're silicone rubber bands and I believe they're six inches by three quarter and they're called banjos, but I'll give you the link to that so you can get them on Amazon. But uh, you'll find a lot of other uses. Uh, you can see on my tractor over there that I'm using it to hold up uh, part of the uh, pan assembly because I'm I'm redoing my gearbox on this tractor and uh, by the way that's uh, born in the year 2000 so that's going on 24 years and that shop vac is also uh, probably 25 years old so but uh, once you get one of these and a t-shirt all you have to do is go over here and put it all the way down to the bottom and make sure that you're bottomed out. And that's it. You know, when you're, uh, when you're ready to change the contents of your filter, all you're gonna do is take the band off. You're gonna go out back in the, you know, the yard or whatever so the missus doesn't yell at you getting dust all over her car. But shake this out really good, this cloth. Don't worry if it gets discolored. You know, it's gonna get discolored, and so is the filter. And then what I like to do with the filter is, uh, I used to bang them on the ends. Well, if you do that, what it's gonna do is, it's gonna bend the filter and it's not gonna get seal. So what I like to do is just take my fingers and run it over it and then reverse it and run it over it until you've got minimal dust coming out and you're ready for the next use. Uh, like I said, th this filter is, is pretty darn old. I have saved a lot of money. I would much rather spend my money on going to dinner than buying a boatload of shop vac filters. You know, and that's it. You know, uh, these videos are about being a DIY person, about saving money. The only reason this shop vac has lasted uh, 20 years is the first thing that's gonna go on them is the switch. Well. You know, don't laugh. Uh, I'm sure this isn't code, but I took a regular wall switch. I wired it in. I made sure the, the uh, wires were uh, well taped off and soldered, and, and that's it. And that's how you make your shop vac last 20 years, too. But that's going to do it for this video. I, I hope it helps you save money. And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our Pompano Brownie channel. And that'll do it for this video.